Hello and welcome back to the Beard Dog Reviews. Just got a short video for you today. It's because um, my June Beer 52 box has arrived. I know, I've still got some from the April box, the Siren box. And I haven't even touched the May box yet. So I will get through them as soon as I can. But what I will do is, just for something a bit lighter, I'm going to give this one a go whilst I'm opening that box. And it's called Pick Me Up, an iced latte pale ale from Siren in collaboration with Casita. Uh, there's the camera up there. Very simple on the camera app. This one comes in at 5%. So just whack it into a glass and we'll see what it's like. And then I can get onto that box. Okay. Nice. I've a bit of carbonation to it. Okay, even with a very, very gentle pour, that has gone absolutely mental there. So I'll let that settle off for a minute. I can see it's a very pale straw coloured beer with quite good carbonation, so that's quite good. Excuse Tyrion, he's playing with his toys under feet. Uh, let's have a look. So I have quickly cut the tape just to make it easier. So, uh, in the June box, what have we got? A bit of advertising, so pop that to one side. So first, the bar snaps. We have some Harvest Snaps Thai Sweet Chili Crispy Lentil Puffs. I do like sweet chili, so that's good. And, oh, some baked pretzels. Oh, I do like those. And they do go, obviously, perfect with a beer. So, this month's beers are from Hand Brew Co. It's Low Mile Lager at 42%. Very, very simple design. It's that one. And next out of the box. Oh, from Four Pure. Not had a Four Pure beer for quite a while. We've got Night Bus, a rich and chocolatey stout of 5%. There we go. Tyrion, lie down. Crazy dog. Uh, next. So, it, from Unbarred, a Beer 52 exclusive, it's a cold pressed Daterra stout at 5%. It's that one. Two stouts so far, that's quite good. Take a pause for a second to gently top that one off a bit. Oh, we can have a look at it. Next, Big Smoke Bruco, in a flight, a hazy pale at 5.2%. There's that one. Where are we next? Sam Brooks Brewery. Now this is Block Party, which is a IPA at 5.5% with Azaka, Citra, Mosaic and Summit Hops. That should be just up my alley, I reckon. We'll find out when we give it a taste. Next, from Renegade Brewery comes Renegade Lager. 4.1%. That's got some fantastic artwork. Obviously, I don't tend to go for a lager very often, but it might be nice. And next, from Big Hug Brewing comes Digital Dreams, a New England IPA at 4.8%. It's got some funky artwork there. Heads die down a bit on there so I can drop a tad more in. Nearly there. And next we have 
Ah, from Mad Squirrel, it's Dusk, which is a porter coming in at 4.7%. I do like a nice porter. There we go. And I do like Mad Squirrel. Uh, next, uh, for Pure again comes London Haze, a fruity hazy pale ale of 5.3%. So the new design for four pure beers it's a bit i mean there's nothing wrong with it it's just compared to their old artwork it's very plain isn't it all right next one from ad astra brewery Here comes ekg which is a pale out of four percent there's that one And uh, looking at it, because it's using Golding's in there, it should be quite a traditional style pale rather than a new world. And uh, what have we got here? So, from the Ramsgate Brewery comes Black Pale Oyster Stout. Hmm. Sounds interesting. 6.2% this one. Give it a go. Oh, there we go. That's the black pearl, anyway. <laughs> That's interesting. And the last beer, which is the 440 in this box. Ah, from Burning Sky, we've got Arise, a pale ale, which I have already reviewed, at 4.4%. So there's something I don't need to worry about whether I'm going to review it or not. I can just drink that one. There we go. And of course, as always, somewhere in here, it tends to be down one side or the other now. This month's Ferment Magazine, which probably have a bit of info on some of the breweries in this box. So, a bit of light reading for when I'm sat editing and whatnot. Just pop the box down, out of the way. Okay. A few different beers, a couple of stouts in there which always cheers me up. And of course those two wonderful snacks. Just get the rest of that beer into that glass and oh, let's have a look at it, shall we? So, with Casita and Siren working together, there was always going to be a caffeine theme. Our latest iced latte is smooth and refreshing with the roasted espresso hip working really nicely in tandem with bright hop notes and a hint of vanilla. Ah. We'll give it a go. It's all in the glass now, so we know, I would say with a good pour, you should get a good finger of clean white head by the looks of things. But it's a very pale straw coloured beer. It's always it's, it's quite dark in here at the moment, but we have got a bulb to change up there. But it is it's picking up a bit darker on the camera, isn't it? It's slightly hazy. I mean, you can just about. See a bit of light through, but on the whole, it's eh, not too bad looking. Very, very gentle carbonation. Hmm. There's a, it's a bit of citrus in the aroma. I'm not picking up any sort of latte vibe from it. Let's give it a taste. It's quite smooth. It is a bit sweet for me, but only very slightly. It's not overly sweet. It's 
just on a pail you're not really expecting that sweetness very very low on the bitterness now I'm getting that latte flavour coming in which does seem a little bit odd really on a beer not unpleasant just unexpected possibly not one I'd go back to but it's not bad just not quite to my taste shall we say I'm sure somebody would enjoy that one you know you can sit down and drink it that's for sure but yeah not it's not really to my taste that one is pick me up ice latte pale ale from Siren and Casita, part of the Siren 10th anniversary beer 52 box. Not a bad beer, just not for me. Well, cheers to all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down there. And until next time, happy drinking. <laughs>